Asante kwa yale umenitendea. Asante. Moyo wangu unakushukuru. Moyo wangu unakupenda. Moyo wangu unashauku nawe. Moyo wangu unakutazamia wewe. Yale umetenda mwanadamu angeweza kuyatenda. Bila umeniponya hakuna angeweza kuniponya. Wewe ndio msaada wa wenye haki. Tunakimbilia tunakuwa salama. Wewe leo ndio tunakutazamia. Tumekuja kusema asante. Umetenda maajabu. Umetenda maajabu. You have done great things oh God. You have done great and mighty things. That my heart is grateful. That my heart is thankful. That my heart adores you Lord. That my heart loves you oh God. That my heart worships you oh God. Where would I be if it were not for your mercies? Where would I be if it were not for your loving kindness oh God. Umetenda for your love. Thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you, oh God. You have done great and mighty things.
above all my praise. You are worthy of all the worship. We just want to exalt him with a song that says, Nare Kelemo, because he has been good to us, that he is worthy of our praise. Are you grateful before the name of the Lord? Just clap your hands. to say
Somebody magnify the King of Kings. Glorify the Lord of Lords. He deserves all the praise. He deserves our worship. He deserves all the honor. Give him glory in the house of God. He deserves our praise. Somebody magnify the King of Kings. Magnify the Lord of Lords. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Lift it up for Jesus. Lift it up for Jesus. Lift it up for Jesus. We give you praise, our Father. We magnify your name. Tunasema kuna kama we pokea sifa zote na utukufu. Tunakupigia makofi ya shukrani. Kutisema unastahili. Wewe ni buwana wa mabuwana. Pigia Yesu makofi mengi ya sifa.
Shamwena 
mwa bwana umetukuka sana juu ya viumbe vyote bwana umetukuka sana aye sema bwana umetukuka sana juu ya viumbe vyote bwana Umetukuka sana Tunakurukia Tunakurukia we Tunakurukia Tunakurukia we Vigala gala vigala gala Rukia Yesu Rukia Yesu haleluya Umetukuka sana we Umetukuka sana Umetukuka sana we Umetukuka sana we Umetukuka sana Umetukuka sana Rukia Yesu Rukia Yesu kwa furaha We 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 baba yetu we 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 mungu wetu we 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 mungu wetu we 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 Bwana wetu Niwe we Wewe fame wetu Niwe we 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 Tu 
tunasema bwana tunasema bwana tunasema bwana hey kwa upendo wako we kwa neema yako tunashangilia hey Magnify your holy name. Blessed be the name of the Lord. We magnify your holy name. Yeah. We love you, our King. We love you, our Master. We lift your name on high, higher than every other name. Thank you, Jesus. We give you glory and honor in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 God bless you. We can take our seats. To God be your glory. God bless the worship team. More grace in Jesus' name. Amen. How many are missing our worship night? Praise the name of the living God. Our worship night is going to be in next week, but one. That is in March, date six, we are going to have a worship night. So you can prepare to have a wonderful time in the presence of God. Na chukua nafasi kwa karibisha kwenye ibada yetu ya siku ya leo. Na hakika tunamshukuru Mungu kwa neema yake na ushindi wake ambao ametupatia ubali huu. Ningependa kuchukua nafasi kuwakaribisha wageni if you are there 
and you are a visitor ulikuja kubarikiwa pamoja nasi please just show me by the lifting of your hand where are you wageni wetu tafadhali msimame tu msimame tu wageni wetu wote glory to god thank you thank you thank you wengine wako kule juu asanti si tuwapigie wote makofi haya ni wachungaji wangapi tuko na wao wageni wametembelea let me see if there is any pastor yeah tuko na wachungaji wachungaji tu wakuja watusalimie please come God bless you. Tuko na sister Nongari pia kutoka Kameme. Mungu akubariki kwa kuja kubarikiwa pamoja nasi. Najua tuko pia na Mr. and Mrs. Paul. Sijui wamekaa wapi. Mungu awabariki pia. Tusikie kutoka kwa wachungaji. Watusalimie. Tuambie tu jina na mahali ambapo unahudumu na Mungu akubariki. Bwana asifiwe. Kwa majina naita Pastor Dorcas Msula. Natoka Butere ni Kakamega County, Kanisa ni Gospel Worship Church. Barikiwe. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Majina yangu ni Pastor Dani Omuridi Joroge. Nimetoka Nairobi. Bwana amenenea nija hapa Nakuru. Nimekuwa na hudumu na Full Gospel Churches of Kenya. Nime nimetii sauti ya Mungu nije na kuru na niko na kuru bwana wabariki Amen bwana asifiwe naitwa Mrs Pastor Moredhi uh, tumekuja hapa na kuru kutoka Nairobi na siku ya leo tukasema tuwe nanyi na Mungu wabariki sana Bwana asifiwe bwana Yesu asifiwe Naitwa Pastor Benson Kondia, nimetoka Nairobi Damdora, KJSF na it's always a pleasure to be here. Ninajua kuja hapa sitatoka bure. I will get something and uh, you are blessed in Jesus name. Haleluya. Bwana asifiwe. Asifiwe tena. Mimi naitwa Pastor Veronica Wainaina, nimetoka Kajiado na hudumu na Hope Outreach Ministry. God bless you so much. Tuwapigie wageni wetu wote makofi. Mungu wabariki sana. Thank you for coming to fellowship with us. Ningependa tuweze kuingia katika neno letu la siku ya leo. Na siku ya leo ningependa kushiriki nanyi ujumbe ambao kichwa chake ni becoming your own interpreter. The title of the message is becoming your own interpreter. Nachukua nafasi hii kukaribisha wale wote ambao wanatusikiza katika Luninga ya MBCI katika radio pia na wale wote ambao wanatusikiza kutoka kwa Facebook, YouTube, mahali popote ambapo unatupata na kukaribisha. May God bless you in Jesus name. Siku ya leo ningependa kuelezea ujumbe ambao ningependa kushiriki nao kwa ufupi and then we are going to pick it up with a few scriptures na inajua kwamba Mungu atatubariki i think a few days ago kuna i, I try to share the same message um, kwa i think it was in kameme radio um, na nilikuwa naongea na kikuyu although uh, najua sio pengine kila mtu ambaye aliweza kupata na ni neno ambalo Mungu ameweka ndani yangu kwa ajili ya wakati huu ya kwamba ni vizuri watu kuwa na uwezo wa kutafsiri kile ambacho kinaendelea katika maisha yao katika jamii zao katika muji katika taifa na pia katika ulimwengu mzima Mungu amekusudia tuwe na uwezo wa kuangalia hali na mambo na tukaelewa ni nini inaendelea na ni nini tunapaswa kufanya. Nikiangalia nyuma kidogo katika maisha yangu 
Ninaona ya kwamba kuna wakati niliweza kutafsiri hali yangu kwa njia inayofaa. Lakini pia nikiangalia nyuma kuna wakati niliweza kutafsiri hali yangu kwa njia ambayo haikufaa. Maybe I'll come to that later with a few examples in my life where I was able to interpret the situation I was going through in the right way na kwa kuweza kusimama nikaona ushindi wa Bwana. But there are also times ambapo I failed in the interpretation and sometimes I suffered because I missed the interpretation of what was happening in my life and how I was supposed to respond to the situation. And that is why today I'm teaching you by the help of the Holy Spirit how you can become your own interpreter. You become somebody who can be able to interpret your own life, the situations, the challenges that you are going through, the seasons that you are in in your life. Ukaweza kutafsiri na ukaweza kujua kwamba ni nini ninayopaswa kufanya. Ningependa tuanzie kusoma uh, maandiko katika kitabu cha Luke chapter 11 and from verse uh, 54. These are the words of our Lord Jesus Christ. Luke chapter 11 from verse 54. Um, Waiting to catch him in something he might say. No. Let's go to Luke 19. Sorry, Luke 19 from verse 41. Luke 19 verse 41. Luke 19:41 yeah as he approached Jerusalem and saw the city he wept over it and said if you even you had only known on this day what would bring you peace but now it is hidden from your eyes the days will come upon you when you are enemies will build an embankment against you and encircle you and hem you in every side. Then you will dash, they will dash you to the ground and uh, ground and ground you and the children within your walls. They will not leave one stone on another because you do not recognize the time of God's coming to you. Huyu ni Yesu amesimama when you are in the vicinity of Jerusalem wale wameshawahi kwenda Israel there is a place you can be able to stand and you can be able to see the whole city. And I remember when we went there we were shown the position where Jesus was standing and he could see the whole city of Jerusalem. Na alipoangalia akaona watu wanaendelea na business as usual maisha yao yanaendelea kawaida lakini Yesu alipoangalia akalia akahuzunika na akasema kama mgejua kile ambacho kinachoweza kumletea amani yani kama mgejua wakati wenu wa kutembelewa basi ingewasaidia na mgeokolewa na maadui zenu lakini sasa jambo hili limefichwa kutoka kwa macho yenu na akaambiwa kuna wakati maadui watakuja na watawazingira na watawaumiza nyinyi pamoja na watoto wenu na itafanyika ni kwa sababu hamkutambua wakati wa kutembelewa kwenu Praise the name of the living God. That means ni kumaanisha kwamba kuna majira ambayo unapaswa ujue jinsi ya kusimama na ukisimama inavyokupasa itakuokoa. 
kwa majira yaliyo mbele yako praise the name of the living god na kwa ni vizuri uwe your own interpreter uweze kutafsiri niko wapi katika maisha Yesu akasema maneno haya kwamba you know how to interpret the signs of the sky but you don't know how to interpret the signs of the times yani unajua nyinyi mnajua sana mkiona kuna upepo mnasema sasa inaonekana mvua imekaribia mkiona anga imekuwa nyekundu mnasema basi inaonekana sasa kutakuwa na kiangazi akawaambia you hypocrites kwa nini mko na uwezo wa kutafsiri hali ambazo mnaona na macho yenu lakini hamuwezi kudisan the signs of the times hamuwezi kupambanua mkaangalia hii hali hii ni ishara ya kwamba inaonekana lazima nisimame kwa jinsi hii lazima nichukue hatua hii kwa sababu nisipofanya hivyo basi inaonekana mambo yangu yatakuwa mabaya so Yesu akawaambia you know how to interpret the signs of the sky you know how to interpret the weather but you don't know how to interpret uh, the signs of the times uh, especially the times uh, that you are going through and that is why the bible talks about the sons of Isaac in the book of uh, uh, first chronicles chapter 12 and verse 32 ni nini hiyo wana wa Isaka walikuwa nayo bibi nasema men of Isaac who understood the times and knew what Israel should do 200 chiefs with all their relatives under their command the bible says the men of Isaac they understood the times and knew what Israel should do lazima ujue kwamba men of Isaac did not just understand the times of the physical weather sio kwamba walikuwa wazuri sana kujua kutakuwa na mvua kujua kutakuwa na kiangazi wana wa Isaka wangeelewa majira haya tunapaswa kufanya nini na Israel inapaswa kufanya nini ili waokolewe na maadui ili waokolewe na nyakati ngumu ambazo ziko mbele zao wana wa Isaka walielewa they understood the times and they knew what Israel ought to do because also you can understand the time but you don't also have a solution you don't know what you are supposed to do and so a good interpreter is to know which season am i in which time and uh, when we are talking at, about time you know there is uh, 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 what we call the kairos praise the name of the living god wakati uninapo ninapoishi majira haya it's not the chronos chronos inasimamia time ya siku masaa ishina ine wiki mwezi mwaka sio kuelewa tu tuko mwaka gani sio kuelewa tu kwa mwezi gani tunaongea juu ya kairos tunaongea kwamba majira haya ni nini ambayo ninapaswa kufanya ili nikaweze kusimama katika majira nayo kuja ama niweze kuokolewa ama niweze kuona baraka za Mungu katika maisha yangu Bwana asifiwe sana na mimi nimeona ya kwamba a lot of success in someone's life is based on their ability to interpret the times kufauru kwetu kunategemea jina bwana ipewe sifa haleluya there are people who are not even born again but sometimes they are able to discern ya kwamba this time napaswa nifanye hivi na hivi na hivi in preparation ya majira yaliyo mbele yangu na ili nikaweze kufauru na nikaweze kuona ushindi na kwa hivyo ni vizuri kuwa na hekima ya kiungu ya kuelewa na kujua jinsi ya kutafsiri majira na wakati uliopo na kujua ni nini ninayopaswa kufanya katika maisha yangu nini nayo tunayopaswa kufanya katika huduma kama kanisa kama taifa 
kama wakati ambao tunapoishi sasa kunahitaji watu walio na hekima ya kiungu wanaoweza kutusaidia ama wanaweza kupata tafsiri ya hali na majira ambayo tuko ndani yake lakini kama kabla sijaenda tu uh, the corporate uh, interpretation of time i would like to deal a bit with the personal interpretation and uh, i want us to read uh, in the book of john chapter 7 from verse 3 your personal interpretation kwa sababu inaweza kukusaidia if you read from uh, uh, john chapter 3 these are uh, uh, this is jesus jesus brothers uh, say to him you ought to live here and go to judea so that your disciples may see the miracles you do no one who wants to become a public figure acts in secret since you are doing these things show yourself to the world for even his brothers did not believe in him verse 6 this is very important answer from our Lord Jesus Christ therefore Jesus told them the right time for me has not yet come for you any time is light praise the name of the living god so Jesus did not de- deny that he is going to become a public figure Jesus did not deny that he is going to become a great person but the answer he gave was about time na aliwaambia ndugu zake neno ambalo tunafaa kulifikiria aliwaambia for you any time is right lakini akasema the right time has not yet come for me. Yeye mwenyewe akasema ndio. Because ndugu zake wanamwambia sasa, kwa nini hauwezi kutokea kwa hii mikutano mikubwa? Wewe utangaze miujiza hii ambayo Bwana anayo kutumia nayo. Na pia we umesema ni mtu mkubwa umetoka juu mbinguni. We kwanza sio ndugu yetu halisi. You may not know which kind of conversation was going on in the evening. Yesu akikaa pamoja na ndugu zake because uh, Maria baada ya kumzaa Yesu na ndoa ikaendelea na Yusufu si baadaye walizaa watoto wengine vijana na wasichana si ungesikia watu wakisema ndugu zake tunawajua dada zake tunawajua sasa jioni wakipiga story Wal, walikuwa naongea namna gani Bwana asifue sana because pengine at some point in time pengine walijua the story of their firstborn ya kwamba alizaliwa kwa njia ya kimuujiza. Na hivyo jioni wakipiga story wangewaambia wange mimi sio wa ulimwengu huu. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. Na mimi sio kama nyinyi. Mimi ni tofauti. No, pengine ndugu zake wanangu wanamwambia si wewe tumezaliwa pamoja na wewe hapa nyumbani. Anamwambia ndio. Lakini mimi nitoka juu mbinguni. Sasa pengine katika yale maongeo ndugu zake wangemwambia basi kama we ni mfanne kama we ni mtu mkubwa kama we aje sio wa dunia hii si utokee na walikuwa namwambia uonyeshe hii miujiza yako kuna vitabu ambavyo vimeandikwa vya kihistoria ambavyo havijanakiliwa katika biblia yetu ya kawaida lakini inasemekana kuna wakati Yesu angetengeneza kandege na matope akakapulizia anapulizia alafu anakaachilia kanapa na amekatengeneza na matope kama vile tulikuwa tunafanya modding kama watoto lakini Yesu angekatengeneza alafu akapulizia kanakuwa ndege halisi Bwana apewe sifa so kuna mambo mengi ambayo Yesu alifanya sio tu yale ambayo yameandikwa katika Biblia sema kama miujiza yote ambayo Yesu alifanya ingenakiliwa hatungekuwa na mahali pakuweza kuweka zile vitabu. So ni kumaanisha kwamba kuna mambo mengi Yesu alifanya. Na kwa hivyo ndugu zake walikuwa namwambia, "Si utokee. Si mtu yote ambaye anataka kuwa a public figure. Praise the name of the living God." Nataka kusema nini? Wapendwa, hata kama Mungu amekuahidia baraka, amesema atakuinua, ni vizuri kujua the right time. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. Lazima uwe an interpreter of your own self. 
that you can be able to interpret uh, this is a time ambayo nafaa to launch into what God has spoken to me. Naamini ya kwamba kuna watu wengi hapa they have dreams, they have visions uh, and aspirations in life. But just because you are sitting down there it does not mean that you have nothing. Just because you are not known it does not mean that your situation is permanent. Na kuna mambo unaweza kuyajua hata kutoka kwa Mungu na unyamaze nayo kwa sababu unajua kwamba haya ambayo Mungu amenizungumzia na ameninenea sio ya wakati huu. Jina Bwana ipewe Juzi nilikuwa na a team walinitembelea from Nairobi ya church wamefungua kanisa juzi juzi yule mtumishi wa Mungu Mungu anamtumia na sasa akakuja akaniambia apostle mimi Mungu amenizungumzia um, niwe ordained kama bishop Bwana asifiwe sana na tukaongea mambo mengi na hata anyway so nikamwambia ni kweli Mungu amekuzungumzia ili uwe ordained na hakika kuna ishara ambazo Mungu anakutumia nazo lakini mimi sio ni kama huu ndio wakati wako wa kuwekewa mafuta. Na mimi siwezi kukubali kuwekea mafuta hata kama Mungu amekwambia ni mimi. Mimi nitakukubalia ukae kwa sababu Mungu hata kosa kukutumia kwa sababu sija kuordain. Mungu aendelee kukutumia. So nikajaribu kumwadvise na yenyewe akapokea ule ushauri. Kwa sababu if you are not a very good interpreter unaweza kuchanganya maisha yako kwa ku miss the timings of God. Na nikamwambia mfano wangu, mimi Mungu wakati aliniongelesha juu ya apostolic ministry, it was around the year 1996, we were in a mountain praying in Gong and God visited us in a very special way. Ha? Huh? Na akakonfirm ya kwamba he has called me into the apostolic. But I took about 10 years before I was ordained into that office. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. And even now I can confess like Paul, I have not yet been made perfect. Ah? Na je kama wakati Mungu alitufeze tu huko ningetoka mlimani, nikienda nikitafuta mtu wa kunimwagia mafuta na niseme mimi ni Apostle John Kimani William. Pengine ningeanza kukutana na vita. Pengine ningeanza kukutana Mungu hata angepata nafasi nzuri ya kuniandaa. So hata kama Mungu alikuwa amezungumza, niligojea miaka kumi. Bwana apewe sifa. Na diposa Yesu akasema ya kwamba for you any time is right to become great. Kweni nyinyi inafaa wakati wote unaweza kuwa mkubwa. Lakini mimi wakati wangu even if I'll be a public figure, even if I'll be a great person, my time is not yet. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. Wapendwa katika haya maisha. There are people ambao wamejiumiza na wamevunjika moyo kwa sababu walipotembelewa na Mungu walipomwamini Mungu walipotoa dhabihu zao walifikiria wakati ni sasa sasa wakati mambo yale waliyotarajia haikufanyika ikawaumiza ikawavunja moyo kwa sababu hawakuweza hawa kutafsiri ni nini Mungu anataka nifanye na maisha yangu wakati huu akiniandaa kwa wakati unaokuja hata kuna watu wameachilia ndoto na prophetic words ambazo Mungu aliwapatia kwa sababu wakati walipatiwa na zimechukua muda wakaona ni ya kwamba hii ni kama haikuwa ya kweli lakini hawakujua kuinterpret ya kwamba Mungu kama Biblia inasema ya kwamba wale waliotabiri juu ya kuzaliwa kwa Yesu walitabiri walifikiria Yesu atazaliwa wakati wao lakini when they searched intently walipochunguza katika roho wakajua Yesu atazaliwa wakiwa hawako Bwana asifiwe sana na ni vizuri sana kuwa your own interpreter ya kwamba unaweza kuchunguza kile Mungu anachonizungumzia because kuna watu ufunuliwa mambo makubwa hata wanatumiwa nabii wanaambiwa wewe Mungu atakubariki wewe utakuwa hata financial lakini kutoka wakati huo mambo yanaenda chini 
wanapitia changamoto paka mtu anaanza kushangaa na hii Mungu alionena juu ya maisha yangu ilikuwa ni kweli lakini hawakuelewa ya kwamba hii ambayo Mungu alinena ni ya kweli wakati Daudi alitiliwa mafuta alipitia changamoto nyingi hata za kutaka kuuawa na Saul akafika mahali anaishi katika ngome katika milima lakini bado wito wa kufanyika mfalme ulikuwa juu yake sio hata Mungu akizungumza baadaye upitie kipindi kigumu praise the name of the living god i said there are times i have been able to interpret my life in the right way there are times hata mimi nilishindwa like when i reach a point and i feel I felt i'm giving up on god waiting upon god na nikasema niandikie mungu barua na nimwambie mungu sasa mimi nimeshindwa kugojea na nimeona vitu zako hazipatikani nangi kwa urahisi na nikachukua karamu na karatasi nikaanza kuandika barua si unajua barua za zamani vile tulikuwa tunaandika wabere na gaidi nyingi mno gai na dhuda wa gaidi wa uhoro wakwa mimi gwede temono praise the name of the living god mimi nakupenda sana na nimetamani miaka mingi nikutumikie lakini nimefika mwisho praise the name of the living god haleluya wakati nilipoenda kuombewa mtumishi wa Mungu roho wa Mungu akashuka juu yake akaniambia Mungu akaniambia jia ninayo kupitishia ndio mimi huwapitishia watumishi wangu baadaye na wafanya watu wakubwa that means ugumu wangu wa maisha niliweza kutafsiri ya kwamba ni kuachiliwa na Mungu na hakukuwa na tumaini ya kutokea lakini nilipopata tafsiri ya Mungu Mungu akaniambia hii njia unapitia nimewapitishia wengine hapo baadaye nikawafanya watumishi wangu wakubwa so becoming your own interpreter ni kujua ya kwamba ndio hata kama niko katika hii hali Mungu hajaniwacha praise the name of the living god hii hali ambayo ninayokabiliana nayo haitanimaliza na unakubaliana na Mungu because two cannot walk together unless they agree. Unakubaliana na Mungu na unasema digo dira ne dare ga konino sitakwisha nimekataa kumalizwa. Hii hali sio ya kunimaliza. Inaweza kuwa ni ya kijamii, inaweza kuwa ni ya kifedha, inaweza kuwa ni ya kiafya ambayo unayoipitia. Lakini kwa sababu unajua kutafsiri, unajua ya kwamba hii hali ambayo inakaa kama bonde la uvuri wa mauti sio ya kunimaliza. Hii ndio itakayokuwa stepping stone ya kuingia katika hatima yangu. Hii hali ya kuinu ukiwa na maadui sio ya kunimaliza ni bwana baadaye anatayarisha aandae meza mbele ya maadui zangu unatafsiri kwa njia inayofaa unajizuilia kupatwa na depression unajizuilia kupatwa na discouragement unajizuilia kukata tamaa unasema as long as i as long as my redeemer lives i shall face tomorrow Praise the name of the living God. Na hapa sio mwisho wangu. Unakana vitu nje, nyumba imefungwa, watoto hawana karo, lakini hata unapolia machozi. Sio machozi ya desperation, ni machozi ya imani. Machozi naosema, Bwana ninajua ya kwamba hapa sio mwisho wangu. Huu ni ushuhuda ambao unanitengenezea na siku moja nitasimama mbele ya watu wengi na nitawaambia vile unavyotendea wale wanaokugojea kwa sababu siku moja vile nimerushwa nje nitasaidia mtu kulipa nyumba nitajengea mtu nyumba hey praise the name of the living god haleluya jana tulikuwa na my wife kwetu nyumbani na tulipokuwa pale akanikumbusha mimi mambo mengine nilikuwa nimesahau lakini akanikumbusha wakati tulioana na yeye tukienda nyumbani 
hatukuwa na mahali pa kurara tulikuwa tunaenda kurara kwa jirani imagine ikiwa na wife jioni saa mbili saa tatu ikifika mnaenda kwa jirani praise the name of the living god kurara huko baadaye tukaona hii sio picha mbaya watu wanapotuona tukienda kwa jirani tukaanza kuraranga kanyumba kadogo my brother analala hapo na mke wake na mimi tunatandikiwa hapo chini matris. praise the name of the living god hallelujah Dio ilikuwa ni jambo la aibu lakini mimi nakumbuka hata katika hiyo hali nilikuwa na teremka kama msitu mwingine iko hapo ninaomba ninamwambia Mungu ninajua bado kuna tumaini katika maisha yangu katika jina la Yesu Kristo mambo ninayopitia sio ya kunimaliza hapana haya ni ya ushuhuda siku moja na watu watatoa ushuhuda wa matendo ya ukuu wako praise the name of the living god hallelujah kujua jinsi ya kutafsiri hali unayoipitia na kipindi uko ndani yake katika maisha yako ni ya muhimu sana na inaweza kukuzuilia na mambo mengi sana hasa kukata tamaa na kushindwa kupasu destiny yako praise the name of the living god and this is where many people fail that they are not able to interpret what they are going through and i know even me sometimes as a human being kuna wakati ungemis na unakuta ya kwamba vile umetafsiri hali yako sio vile ambavyo Mungu alikuwa anatarajia ukaweze kuitafsiri sometimes you get the wrong interpretation of your situation and what you are going through because you are human na katika ulimwengu huu kuna vile watu wanazoea kutafsiri wanajua ukiisha mambo yako yakiwa mabaya hawajui ya kwamba unaweza kuinuka tena praise the name of the living god wanaenda na mwili wanaona tu mwisho wako jina bwana ipewe sifa ukisoma ezekiel 37 wakati wana wa israeli walikuwa wamekaa in exile for 70 years na mungu akataka kuwatoa pale ezekiel was a prophet in exile and people like daniel were also in exile na daniel walipovisoma vitabu daniel chapter 1 from verse 2 kiendelea akaelewa ya kwamba 70 years ndio zilikuwa zimetafsiriwa na jeremiah juu ya exile ya wana wa israeli watu kama ezekiel mungu akaanza kuinua katika roho anawauliza hii mifupa inaweza kuishi kwa sababu ilikuwa mifupa mikavu mifupa ambayo haina nyama That means ni watu wamekaa katika hali ambayo imewamaliza kabisa. Hawana tumaini. Ezekiel akamwambia Mungu wewe peke yake ndio unayejua. Mungu akamwambia Ezekiel, tabiria hii mifupa mikavu. Na Mungu baadaye akamwambia, hii mifupa inasimamia watu wangu, wana wa Israeli. Wanasema Mungu wetu ametuacha. Hakuna tumaini tena la kurudi katika nchi yetu. Lakini Mungu akamwambia Ezekiel, nitakuja, nitafungua makaburi yao. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. Kuna wakati Mungu huwa anakuja, anafungua ndoto na maono yaliyosahaulika. Na Mungu anaweza kuja wakati kama huo amekukumbuka baada ya mateso baada ya kilio baada ya ugumu mwingi but you are not even aware of it that god has come to visit your life praise the name of the living god may god give you the spirit of discernment from today in the mighty name of jesus may you become your own interpreter in the mighty name of Jesus uh, so that you may know the time uh, when you are living in uh, and what you are supposed to do may you become like the sons of Isaac uh, in the mighty name of Jesus uh, that you understand the times in your life uh, and you know what you are supposed to do bwana asifiwe sana so that greatness ambayo mungu amekusudia haitakuwa aborted that you're not going to launch before your time Mungu anaweza kuzungumzia ndio kama vile Yesu alisema ya kwamba for you when the time is right. Let me tell you, it is long for you 
especially as a believer, when you think that any time is right for you to have everything. Wakati unisawa, nipate upako mkubwa, nijenge nyumba, ninunue gari, nifanye mambo haya na yale. Nataka nikwambia kwamba you are dead long. Yesu aliwaambia kwamba for you any time is right. Ni vizuri mtu kujielewa yenyewe Mungu atakuja kunitumia. Lakini nitachukua muda kuandaliwa. Yenyewe ni mimi nitakuja kuwa na gari but this is not the time. So that hata ukipata pesa mingi hauna ile greed na tamaa ya kuingia katika jambo ambalo wakati wake haujafika. Kuna watu walijiingiza unakuta umenunua gari baadaye mambo mengine yanakuja unauza ile gari na unaoachwa na vidoda because ulifikiria huu ndio wakati ha? lakini ikawa the timing was wrong it was not the time praise the name of the living god ni kama mimi wakati nipata pesa kidogo na nikasema sasa unajua nilikuwa na gari, gari ya saf ambayo ilikuwa inafanya nina shida kila wakati kwa garage karibu na cherewa na ranchawa So wakati nipo user nikasema sasa lazima ninue gari mpya. Nikaenda mpaka Dubai kuchagua gari mpya. But I was torn between a number of things. Je, ninue gari kanisa sasa hiyo tuko grey house ni nyumba ya kukomboa. Eh? Si tunapaswa kutafuta uwanja. Lakini jambo lingine inaniambia uwanja ni wa kanisa. Gari ni yangu hii na jamii yangu. Tuta contribute kama watu wengine lakini niwe na gari yangu. Niwe na mchuma. Nikipeleka hivi hata kwetu geshagi. Watu wanaona kimani yalibarikiwa. Lakini nilipoenda Dubai nikachagua gari nzuri, dira tukamsikubalia nayo utabadilisha hii utafanya hivi, kuingia kulipa, Mungu akaniambia usinunue hiyo gari. Kama Mungu ange nizungumuzia wapendwa. I don't think this ministry would be where it is today. I would have missed God's time. Niliporudi hapa sikujua kwa nini Mungu amenizungumzia. Mungu akaniambia tukapata uwanja hapa about half an acre. Mungu akaniambia toa hizo pesa zote zinunue uwanja. So we were able to pay the first down payment even without doing a fundraising. And that is how we started acquiring the land where we are today as a church kama ningenunua gari praise the name of the living god would have missed this opportunity ya ku possess this land bwana apewe sifa pengine siku leo tungekuwa na kanisa lakini ningekuwa pande ile ya mzee wa nyama ha lakini haingekuwa inafanana hivi kwa sababu kuna mahali si kuelewa When I came back I stayed for four years without a car. Four years. And my patient grew so much ya kwamba hata wakati tulijenga kanisa ya kwanza tukajenga haya maofisi. Wale viongozi tulikuwa nao wakaniambia pana apostle sasa nunua gari. Nikawaambia sasa kama tunaweza nunua trailer itakuwa na more impact kuliko gari yangu. We bought our first trailer. Hizi ambazo tunafanyanga mission nazo kama sija sina gari yangu binafsi. Kwa sababu gani? Mambo mengine tunataka kuyafanya. Kuna tamaa ambazo tuko nazo ambazo sio za kiungu. Pengine we want to make a statement. Unataka kujionyesha. Na hakika nilikuwa ninafikiria vile nitakuwa ninaenda na hiyo gari gishagi. Ninajua shopping center ya kwetu vile inakaa. Unafungua kio unawekelea mkono hapo unapiga round ndio wale walikuwa nafikiria uliharibika kichwa wajue kufuata Yesu sio kutupa mbao. praise the name of the living god kwa hivyo ilikuwa na kitu kingine ambako kalikuwa kaninisukuma kununua hiyo gari kwa hivyo kuna mambo mengine tunataka kufanya tushindane na watu wengine wengine pia waone hata sisi tuko tunaishi milimani praise the name of the living god haleluya tunaishi nyumba kubwa tuko na haya na yale dio inaweza kuwa katika mpango wa Mungu but be your own interpreter god may allow you to suffer for a little longer in a single room house 
Lakini wewe ndiye utaishi nyumba yako ya gorofa. Lakini kwa kugojea pare na kuelewa ya kwamba this is not my time. Wacha wengine hata waolewe. Sometimes watu wameingia katika ndoa kwa sababu umeona ni kama kila mtu anaolewa. Kasema he, nitabaki namna gani? Paka unaanza kujipendekeza kwa wadudu. Jina Bwana ipewe sifa. Haleluya. Paka unaanza kujizungumzia, unajua sio kila ndoto inatoka kwa Mungu. Unaanza kuona ndoto ukiolewa na ndugu. Na kama haji kwako unaenda kumpatia ndoto. Najua mimi nimeona afadhali nikuja nikuambie afadhali na wewe uombe ujue kama ni mapenzi ya Bwana. Praise. Lakini vile unataka kuienforce. Ha? Unajua mtu akikataa mapenzi ya Bwana ni shauri yake. Lakini unajua hii ni kitu ambayo inatokana na mafikara yako wewe mwenyewe. Bwana apewe sifa. Wapendwa hata ukiona kila mtu anaolewa. Even ni, ni those who are younger than you wanaolewa kubali kujua ya kwamba your time is more important wacha wengine waopalete na their time jina bwana ipewe sifa lakini wewe kaa katika wakati wako wakati wako Mungu akija anaweza kufanya ungoje zaidi praise the name of the living god this is like this story that is given about a, an elephant and a dog ambayo wote waliambiwa wako na mimba Mbu akazaa mara ya kwanza sita. Ndovu bado ako na mimba hajazaa. Mbu akalea zi, wale sita papis. Baadaye akachukua mimba wengine sita. Tena akawalealea. Ndovu bado hajazaa. Mpaka mbwa siku moja akauliza dovu. Na vile tuliambiwa tuko na mimba sisi wawili. Are you sure wewe uko na mimba? Ona vile papis wangu ni wengi. Ndovu akamjibu akamwambia we wachana na hawa papes wako siku ile mimi nitazaa kile nitakachozaa kitaanguka kitingize dunia praise the name of the living god hallelujah wait for your time because when your time comes it doesn't matter those who have gone ahead of you there is an overtaking anointing in the kingdom of god when your time comes you are going to overtake uh, those who have gone ahead of you in the mighty name of Jesus. He uh, was is going to be more glorious. He uh, was is going to have more impact uh, in the mighty name of Jesus uh, because you have been waiting upon the Lord. Uh, receive the grace uh, to continue waiting uh, for the Lord uh, until your time uh, comes uh, in the name of Jesus. May God deliver somebody from discouragement. Ya kwamba kuna wengine wamebarikiwa, kuna wengine wameenda mbele yangu. Nataka nikwambie, pokea neema kwa sababu wakati wako ukija, wao ndio watatoa ushuhuda wa matendo ya ukuu wa Mungu ambayo wameyatenda katika maisha yako. In the mighty name of Jesus. Praise the name of the living God. Jesus said, for me my time is not yet. Praise the name of the living God. So that nikutana wachungaji wengine, bishops waniambie, najua mimi najenga wapi? Niko na nyumba wapi? Niko na hii. Mi najua ya kwamba wakati wangu nakuja. Na wakati wangu utakapokuja, haijalishi zile wamejenga, kwanza mimi nitajenga ya kisasa wakati huo. Zile mzuri bado hazijajengwa. Praise the name of the living God. Wakati Mungu atanibariki, baraka yangu itaovateka ya wale walioenda mbele yangu. Wacha waende wakati wangu ukija, I'll overtake them in Jesus name. There are so many, you know we talk about peer pressure to the young people to the teenagers. But let me tell you, there is a lot of peer pressure even among adults. Praise the name of the living God. Because of what you see other people doing. Wengine they are your classmates. Wengine they are your friends. Wengine they are your business partners. Ha? Munafanya biashara na wao. Ukiona mambo yale wanafanya. Paka unasema 2020 vile nilijenga cathedral, mimi sitaki kusikia kuna pledge nyingine. Sitaki kusikia huu ni wakati wangu nijijenge. Praise the name of the living God. Lakini vizuri kujua 
umesikiza kutoka kwa Bwana ama ni hali zako zinakudrive na mambo yale umeona wengine wakifanya unataka kufanya praise the name of the living god haleluya i want to be my own interpreter i want to interpret my own situation and know what i am supposed to do i will not be driven by peer pressure praise the name of the living god ninakataa kufuata watu wacha wajenge nyumba wacha wanunue magari wacha wafanye vile wanavyofanya but for me my time will come and when it comes praise the name of the living god wakati wangu utakapokuja utakuja na mgurumo utakuja na uzito utakuja na nguvu baada ya kumgojea bwana praise the name of the living god if you read that story about our lord jesus christ he said my time is not yet right but the bible says he later went baadaye alienda but he did not go for the show off hakuenda wakati ndugu zake walikuwa nataka aende nataka kusema ya kwamba kuna mambo bado utafanya katika maisha yako hata kama wengine walitangulia wengine unataka kuhubiri lakini i remember there are times we would go to gong mountains to pray and i remember this one brother ambaye angeniambia kimani mbona tunakaa hapa mlimani na watu wanakufa huko situngeni atuwasaidie na ningemwambia tulia shida sio wahubiri shida ni kiwango tuko hapa Mungu atutayarishe atupe neema atupe upako ili tutakapotokea tutokee na kiwango ambacho kitatuwezesha kuwa msaada kwa watu wengi praise the name of the living god so si, si, shida sio opportunity unaweza toka hapa na uende ufungue kanisa na uende uwe na huduma na uipatie jina nzuri i have seen even people who left the church here coming back telling you the challenges na ukisoma between the lines wanakuambia i wish i did not leave that time praise the name of the living god because hata kile kilikuwa kinawasukuma baada ya kwenda kule nje umekuta mambo sio vile ulikuwa unafikiria sasa baadaye unashindwa ni kurudi nitarudi na aibika nikukaa ninakaa nitakaa moto ni mwingi So I know people who are not able to come back but they have closed the churches they have closed the ministries they have become vagabond Sasa mtu anasikia aibu ya kurudi anakaa kule akizunguka na sio kwamba hakuwa na kipawa sio kwamba hakuwa na mwito lakini timing hakuinterpreta ya kwamba hata kama wakati huu kuna shida hata kama wakati huu ninaonewa sio wakati wa kutoka I have given you my testimony there was a time I ran away from the ministry in Nairobi na nikatafuta Bible school na Bible school ni nzuri but when I was in the Bible school mwezi wa kwanza mwezi wa pili mwezi wa tatu naendelea I loved prayer I'm waking up very early to pray one morning saa kumi na moja nikiomba Mungu akaniuliza nani alikutuma hapa kamwambia Mungu nilikuja hapa kusoma ndio niwe effective katika kazi yako. Mungu akaniambia rudi katika shule yangu. Mungu ako na shule yake. Na mahali ninarudi ni mahali kuna waka moto. Praise the name of the living God. Kumbe hapo ndio Mungu alikuwa anataka anitengeneze, anichemushe. Ni kule ndo mara ile kutheruka. Itheruka le mwakero garu akirugaje anyogo unachemushwa mara moja unaruka nje sasa hujaiva hata ukienda ungegojea uchemushwe paka moto ipoe hey wa kuchemushe mpaka walio kuchukia waanze kukusalimia kwa heshima praise the name of the living god hallelujah you don't have a reason na niliuliza mbona kazini mahali tumeandikwa kuna kuanga na shida and you don't resign Kanisani kukiwa na shida kidogo unasema nitatoka hii kanisa. Na kazini kumewaka moto paka unatusiwa face to face na boss. Sa? Lakini hapa hata apostle akipita na hakukuwa na kuona hii kanisa nitatoka. Unaona vile apostle anampita mtu kama gari hata anisalimii. Vitu kidogo kidogo za utoto tunazileta kanisani. Lakini tukiwa kule nje we face the challenges and the realities of life. Praise the name of the living God. I declare that you never miss your timing. 
in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, I pray that all your plans and your desires uh, in the year 2020, they are going to be aligned uh, with God's will uh, for your life uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. I've also given a testimony. When God spoke to me about building the prayer mountain, it was in the year 2000. In the year 2002, I did a fundraising. And we, in the ministry, we got only 80,000. Bado na ngangana kununua shamba na eite. Tukapata thirikuwa taneka. Kwenda kulipa, fote zimelipa madeni. Yani unangangana tu. Unangangana tu. Psalms 32 verse 8 and verse 9. Give us Psalms 32 verse 8 and verse 9. Hili ndiyo neno mungu wali nipatia meyaka hiyo. Psalms 32 verse 8 and verse 9. And it is very, very important. I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. I will counsel you and watch over you. Verse 9, the Bible says, Do not be like a horse or like a mule, which have no understanding, but must be controlled by a by bait and bridle, or they will not come to you. Mungu I will instruct you. I will show you the way you should go. Ata kama nimekupatia maono, go share my instruction. Wacha kwenda kabla ya wakati wangu utaibika. Praise the name of the living God. Gojea, usiwe kama mnyama ambaye haerewi. Yaani kama Mungu alikuwa ananiuliza, haujui wakati wa uwezi kunijegea prayer center? Hauna uwezo. Sija kutayarisha. Ndio nimekupatia maono, lakini maono hayo sio ya wakati huu ambao hata fair ya kwenda mission hauna. Sio ya wakati, unajua wakati mwingine unasema wacha nijisukumie kwa maono hata kama mambo yangu ni mabaya. Sasa ninaenda mission na paper bag ya nylon lakini bado nataka kujenga prayer center. Hiyo ni kukosa akili. Mungu akasema usiwe kama punda ama farasi ambazo hazielewi. Kule ndo matanyi itaga na dari umwe wao. Kuna watu hawashiki na nilikuwa mmoja wao. Lakini kama kuna kitu siku ya leo, mimi utafuta kudisan, ni kutafsiri, ni kitu gani mungu anataka nifanyi. Uu wakati, what is happening in my life? Hii hali inasema nini? Kwa sababu kuna hali ambazo huzungumuzia mtu. Punda za kishi zinapotea. Na Saul anaenda kutafuta punda. Lakini anaambiwa na Samueli, punda unazo zitafuta Na alikuwa mezita put, futa milima tofauti, milima ya shalisha, milima tofauti, anatafuta punda na azipatikani. Kumbe shida, sio punda. Punda, Samueli alisema, zitarudi nyumbani peke yake. Lakini kuna mwito, wabwana, juu ya maisha yako. There are people who don't know how to interpret that whatever is happening in my life, it is because of the call of God. It is because of my disobedience. Kuna kitu mungu wali niambia na nimekata kuti. Kwa hivyo shida siyo ugonjo wa mtoto. Shida siyo biyashara. Wacha ni sisumbuke kutafuta suruisho katika mirima tofauti. Wacha ni mrudie buwana. Nikifanya mapenzi ya buwana. Hii biyashara itapona. Huyu mtoto watapona. Become your own interpreter in the mighty name of Jesus. And that is the greatest thing that you can have in this life. Kujua kutafsiri. Hali zikifanyika. Vire maisha yako ya naendelea. Unajua kutafsiri. Unajua kutafsiri. Unajua hapa kama mungu watanipatia ushindi. Lazima nikae hivi. Praise the name of the living God. Dio niweze kupata breakthrough yangu. So, mina kufundisha. Kwa sababu kuna kule nilikosea. Ya? Yeah? That time, usifikirie, kama saizi naunanga watu ingino wakisema, oh, mi naunanga aposto hapa kanisani, kila kitu ambacho anatuambia, kinafanyika. Hai kuanza hivo, nimepitia hard training. Ha? Kuna wakati nikuwa nafanyisha watu fundraising, nawambia mungu wamesema, tutajenga prayer center, na itana fundraising, na haijengwi. Paka badaye mkua kwa meeting watu wanawiza, na hile pesa ya kujenga mlima hirieda wapi. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. Kwa sababu niliongoza watu kufanya kitu ambacho hakikuwa katika wakati wabwana. 
And that is why I try so much. I gave you a testimony even before we started this cathedral to build. I prayed for six good months. Kwa sababu singe kubali kuambia kanisa tutafanya mradi na sijasikia vizuri kutoka kwa Mungu. Because there are two ways. Number one, kuna the cost ya kujenga. Number two, unaweza kujenga nyumba inakaa kama stadium iwe na watu nusu. Ule dia kuru tadomeshie kwao. Utakuwa unaenda kutoa watu nyumbani kujeni tumejenga kanisa kubwa na haina watu na mnatembea huku kwa barabara ofyofyo kujeni mjaze nyumba ya Bwana. Hauwezi kusukuma watu na nguvu. Sasa ndio usiingie kwa aibu. The best you can do ni kutafuta kutoka kwa Bwana. Mungu, is this is this the right time? Praise the name of the living God. Dio nisifanye jambo ambalo because I know the repercussions. Nimeshawahi kusema tunafanya hivi na haikufanyika. Hii maroli unaona hapa. Tukiingia hapa kwa ofisi. Nitakutolea makaratasi na, na bahasha ambazo zinachorwa magari. Kwa sababu Mungu alikuwa amesema miaka mingi hata kabla sija kuja na kuru. Lakini tulijaribu haikuwezekana kwa sababu haikuwa wakati wake jina la bwana ipewe sifa so when you become your own interpreter utajizuilia na maumivu mengi kujiumiza we mwenyewe kuingia mambo yana backfire bwana ipewe sifa you can even get into a relationship i remember when god spoke to me about marriage in fact one of the things i did not like that time is to get into marriage i was even fighting it in my spirit hata ningeambia waombezi waniombee kwa sababu sitaki kuoa lakini ilikuwa ni time ya Mungu msukumo ulikuwa ndani yangu lakini because of hali na mambo mengine mengi na unabii wa millennium 2000 Yesu anarudi Unajua mimi nilifanya wedding 99 April Sasa nilikuwa nasema sasa mtu anaoa na amebakisha mwe, mwaka moja kwanza ni miezi dunia iishe sasa najisumbua na nini ama nyinyi ya Mungu usikie hiyo maneno ha yeah manabii wakubwa wa dunia wanasema sasa 2000 ngojea hata usiku wa tukurara ongojea ni kitu gani kitafanyika jina la Bwana lipewe sifa lakini Mungu alikuwa anajua maisha itaendelea miaka mingi Now it is 20 years and counting na bado hajarudi. Niko ndale gile kwa hikania ile kama singeoa wakati huo. My wife aolewe hapa na mtu mwingine. We. Si ningepata shida nyingi. <laughs> Lakini kwa sababu ya kupenda Mungu Mungu alinihurumia asubuhi moja nikiomba nikiririya Mungu me i used to even today I, i still cry to god for my destiny so Mungu akaniambia your time to marry is now and you are going to marry so and so praise the name of the living god hallelujah Mungu akanielekeza akaniambia huu ndio wakati wako wa kuwa acha na kupigana na mambo ya doa wacha kujisumbua ya kwamba haujafika wakati wa kuwa because pia i was looking at many many things i don't want to go into them na nilikuwa ninaona kama wakati wa haufai so becoming your own interpreter hata kama ni kujiachilia kwa Mungu kutafuta God's will for your life kuelewa Mungu unataka nifanye nini huu ni wakati gani katika maisha yangu hii hali ninayopitia unataka nini na maisha yangu you become your own interpreter don't allow other people to learn your life kuna watu maisha yao yanakuwa rana watu wengine unafuata the crowd unataka ufanye jambo kwa sababu wengine wanafanya uliona mtu na gari sasa unataka kukopa pesa ununue yako una misukumo ambayo inatokana na mwili haijatokana na roho wa Mungu unataka Mungu akusaidie kwa mambo ye mwenyewe hajaanzisha ndani yako hiyo inaweza kuwa shida kubwa may god fill you with the knowledge of his will in all spiritual wisdom and understanding in the mighty name of jesus praise the name of the living god 
I, I, I give a, a testimony of my life because of challenges in life. That time, I got into a business and it was not in the will of God. And I got so many challenges. Na wakati ambapo nilifanya huo uamuzi mambo kadhaa yalifanyika gari kaharibika uh, tukaenda nyumbani ku connect machine kwa stima stima proti mzima ikabro tukaweka mizigo kwenda baadaye ya wiki mbili gari ikateremka hapa Kinongi ikafukua na tire bus tuka roll becoming your own interpreter wakati mwingine unaangalia mambo unasema mbona mambo haya yote yamenipata zamani Israeli wazee walikuwa wanakaa chini Kwa sababu walikuwa najua, as long as God is with us, our enemies will never defeat us. Wangekaa chini, wanauriza, mbona leo tulienda kwa vita, na mungu wakatuacha mbele ya wafilisi. Hawaku wanasema wafilisi walikuwa wengi, walikuwa na siraha. They were searching their lives from the inside. They were not looking at the inside. Wakati mwingine, tunaangalia tu hali ya inje, na tunajua kuinterpret mambo ya inje. But it's important even for us to search ourselves from the inside. Unauliza, ni nini hii inafanya? Nipoteze vita. Niweze kushindwa. Bona mambo haya. Yananiletea aibu. And that is how you become your own interpreter. You find solutions for the problems and the challenges that you are going through. Praise the name of the living God. Are you going to become your own interpreter from today? Receive that grace in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, I don't want you to run the hard way. Because me, I know there are things I learned the hard way. And I suffered. Some decisions, you can make some decisions. And they'll have repercussions. Even if God forgives you. Then, there are things that will still remain as a scar. The consequences will remain as a scar in your life of a wrong decision you made, of something you got into it, and it was not in the will of God. So you must be your own interpreter of your relationships. Kuna wakati mungu wana kuwon, he relationship is not of me. Nimekutana watu wengi yabao baadae, doa zao zilikuwa na shida. Lakini walianza kuona signs wakati wa courtship, but they ignored what they were going through. I know courtships have challenges. Even me, when we were having courtship in my, with my wife, we had few challenges because you are working, you are compatibility. So there are the normal challenges. But there are challenges that are beyond the normal. If this is happening and we are not married, how are we going to live together forever until death do us apart? It will not be possible. Unaanza kusoma because the writing sometimes is on the wall. Lakini ya kuna mtu nataka kusoma ya kwamba hii ishara na hii na hii inaniambia kwamba kuna hatari mbele. Become your own interpreter in the mighty name of Jesus. Be somebody who ask yourself questions wakati mambo ya nafanyika. Bona hii nafanyika. Bona nilikuwa ni chukue hatua hii. Jambo hii likafanyika. Kwa sababu kuna wakati mungu wanazungumuza na hali zinazo fanyika katika maisha ya mtu circumstances zinakwambia god is speaking god is sending a message to you because mungu anasema ya kwamba niliweka mkono lakini hakuna aliyeangalia unapita na mkono wa mungu kumbe ni mungu anakwambia stop na kwa sababu mkono wa mungu akiweka stop ataweka hali ya kukusimamisha na we unapita na hiyo hali unajaribu ku find your way out lakini hiyo hali ungeinterpret ilikuwa inakwambia simama na ufikirie kwa sababu inawezekana jambo unalotaka kulifanya haliko katika mapenzi ya Mungu wakati huu hata kama Mungu atakuja kulifanya baadaye this is not God's timing for your life praise the name of the living God especially for the youth who are here you have a great opportunity because some of us who are older we have so many things to regret we have so many mistakes that we have made and some of them we cannot be able even to correct them but if you are a young person and you are here, you have the opportunity to make the right decisions. Otherwise, your life in years to come will be full of regrets. Utasema, kama ningejua, kama ningejua, kama ningejua. Lakini ukona nafasi ya kufanya mambo kwa njia ilio sawa. And that is why me, I envy the young people. Uh, today, if I was given an opportunity, 
kuwa kijana tena sisemi niko na regrets nyingi but there are things i did i cannot repeat them kuna mambo nilifanya saa hizi nikipata opportunity ingine. siwezi kupitia hako kanjia because sasa nimeerevuka na liposa unaona wakati mwingine watu wanasema mvi inakuja na hekima hiyo hekima sio ya shule ni hekima ya shida na makosa mtu aliyofanya ndio akaelimika akili kaamuka kwa sababu ya mapito aliyopita but we have the word of god we have the spirit of god who is able to guide us into all the truth receive the touch of god today in the mighty name of jesus can somebody declare i'm going to become my own interpreter in the mighty name of jesus i am going to interpret my situations i am going to interpret my circumstances in the mighty name of jesus hallelujah jona alisema munitupe tu katika maji wacheni kutupa unga wacheni kutupa mizigo kwa sababu hii merikebu haitatulia nikiwa hapa ndani. Jona alijua. Alijua hii hali. Upepo unaleta shida, maji yanaleta shida. Kila kitu kimegeuka. Huyu ni Mungu ambaye anasema siwezi kukosa kumtii. Kuna watu wengi tunafaa kuinterpret ya kwamba shida zingine ambazo zimekuja kwa partnership ya biashara ama kwa family, we are the cause una interpret ha? unaona mtoto wako vile ameteseka mpaka unasema Mungu I will obey you nitakutii kwa sababu unajua hii mateso iko kwa, 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 kwa mtoto ni wewe una cause because you know you are only burden unajua kwamba ni mimi nimekataa kutii you become your own interpreter daktari anapima mtoto anasema sioni shida lakini wewe una interpreter najua shida mahali imetoka na nitarekebisha Mungu Bwana asifiwe sana you become your own interpreter and you bring healing to your family you bring healing to your business you bring healing even in the church kuna watu naweza fanya huduma kama iwe na shida nyingi because of rebellion wanajua mapenzi ya Mungu wanajua kile wanapaswa kufanya lakini bado wanaendelea kuasi wanafanya hata watu wengine wateseke kwa sababu wanafanya kitendo kile akan walifanya especially those who are in leadership we must be very very careful because we determine god's response to the whole church na kwa hivyo ndio ulisikia nikitangaza vision ya 2020 and beyond nikasema maono ya kwanza ni yangu mimi mwenyewe mungu nisaidie Nisimame sawa sawa na mapenzi yako because i know if i don't do that there can be repercussions even in the whole church there are things you can do you bring repercussions to your whole family na ni wewe unakataa kusimama vile ambavyo Mungu anavyotaka nimalize na kusema ya kwamba ni vizuri kuwa an interpreter even in our times ukiangalia kama siku ya leo mambo yale yanafanyika hata hapa Kenya na katika ulimwengu mzima hali kama hii tuko nayo ya nzige siku ya leo ambazo zinaendelea kuingia katika kila sehemu ya taifa ukiwa a good interpreter utajua kwamba this is not a good sign because every time unaona nzige zimetajwa katika Biblia zilikuwa lilete na judgment ya Mungu akijaji taifa because hizi ni viumbe ambavyo vinakuwa controlled not just by nature but by the supernatural hand of god jina bwana ipewe sifa ukiona mambo kama ya coronavirus kule china inchi ambayo ilikuwa inainuka kuwa super power lakini natingizwa inakuambia this is not a good sign na unajua China ina affect uchumi wa mataifa mengi hasa hata hapa kwetu Afrika kwa sababu tunaitegemea sana katika biashara ukiona vita vinataka kutokea katikati ya Amerika na Iran and let me tell you it is not yet over these are some of the things ambazo Yesu alituambia kwamba unafaa kuziangalia when you saw 
pestilences mambo yanayoleta uharibifu Bwana apewe sifa yako na sauti yanahitaji mtu ambaye anaweza kutafsiri na kwa hivyo ni vizuri wapendwa hata tunapoishi tuweze kujua kwamba nyakati tunazoishi ziko na ishara zinazotuambia we need god ziko na ishara zinazotuambia we are in the end times praise the name of the living god i know how share in a different message the signs of the end times na tuweze kuziangalia from the bible and what jesus said mambo yale ambayo yesu aliyosema we read from the book of daniel praise the name of the living god but in summary i would like to say if you are a good interpreter there are so many lightings on the wall that are not leading us to the light direction even as a nation when you look at our divisive politics where our leaders are not able to come together and agree especially even leaders from the same community and these are not things that happen we know that most of the times our politics from history they are tribal politics ni kabila hii liko pamoja kabila hii liko pamoja lakini ukiona siasa inafika mahali hata kabila moja halisikizani that's not a good sign for our nation praise the name of the living god hallelujah it is a sign that is telling us uh, we need to call upon the name of the lord praise the name of the living god to me when i look at all these signs uh, they are telling me we need to seek god for a divine visitation tukiona watu wanakimbilia miungu yao idol worship ndio jambo mungu anachukia sana na huwa linafanya mungu anajaji watu siviari Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. I hope hii sikukuu tume, tumewekewa ya 26 na wameileta karibu na wakati tunasherekea mwokozi Yesu kuzaliwa. Sasa tumeletewa ingine hapo imeitwa ya kacha. I hope hatutaenda ku celebrate our kacha in worshiping the gods of our fathers because that will provoke God and it will bring judgment to the nation. Praise the name of the living God. All these signs they are not good signs for our nation. We need to pray for divine visitation in this nation in our generation. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. Kwa sababu ishara hizi zote hazituambia kwamba tunaelekea mahali ambapo Mungu anataka. Kenya is a springboard of revival. And Kenya being a springboard of revival ni kumaanisha kwamba Kenya inategemewa kwa makusudi ya Mungu. Na mimi najua hata you study from the nation of Israel kuzama kusudi ya Mungu unaweza kuyazaa naturally kikawaida ujitolee kutimiza lakini pia kuna ile tunasema anga inaitwa cesarean section ile mama anaenda kufanywa upasuaji kuna vile Mungu anaweza kuja with an operation na ni operation ambayo itakuwa na uchungu sio kuzaa kikawaida ni kuzaa kwa uchungu that means ndio tunaweza kuzama kusudi ya Mungu kama taifa lakini tunatuyazae na uchungu na unajua wakati mwingi people respond to pain more quickly than when times are good kwa hivyo wakati kuna uchungu watu wanaweza kimbia kumti Mungu na kutafuta Mungu na wakati hakuna uchungu watu ni kama wataki mambo ya Mungu praise the name of the living god so Mungu atusaidie wakati unaona atheists wanakuja openly kama vile tumeambiwa wana declare sisi tunasema hakuna Mungu especially in Africa wakati tunasema tunaona mambo ya gay and lesbian sim yanakuwa practiced openly paka mtu anasema niko na kanisa na mimi nimhubiri na nimhubiri gay na haogopi Praise the name of the living God. These are not the best signs for our time. And this is the time to rise 
and seek the face of God like never before. And we tell God, do not forsake your inheritance because this nation is your inheritance. We refuse Kenya to go through pain. May you have mercy, O God, and deliver our nation from pain, the pain of hunger and famine in the mighty name of Jesus, the pain of bloodshed in the mighty name of Jesus. Deliver us from every form of pain in the mighty name of Jesus because the signs that we are seeing, uh, they are not the right signs, uh, but we pray that God is going to reverse uh, the situation. Uh, God is going to come through for us, uh, and I declare this is a season uh, to seek the face of God uh, until he comes uh, and he rains righteousness upon us uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, may God reverse the situation uh, in the mighty name of Jesus uh, that we see in this nation, uh, in the mighty name of Jesus, ya kwamba nzige tunazo ziona hazita vamia inchi nzima. Hii coronavirus, kama inaweza mahali kama China, mahali wako na technology. Ha? Na ikiingia hapa Kenya, ni ukisikia mtu anakohoa hivyo kama hiyo amekohoa unamuliza, ulikuwa China? Ama umemsalimia mu China? <laughs> China wana ipewe sifa. Hallelujah. Itakuwa shida. Ha? Itakuwa shida. Itakuwa changamoto. Tunahitaji ulinzi wa Mungu. Tunahitaji Mungu tu atujengee nchi yetu ukuta. And the only we can do that is just to humble ourselves before the Lord and we acknowledge our sins. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. The sins of corruption, the sins of idol worship where we have lifted other gods, uh, even the gods of our tribes, uh, the sins of wickedness, wovu, amba unaendelea, iwe ni, ni mambo ya fornication and adultery, amba imekua ni kama the order of the day, ata kanisani, unakuta watu amba wanasema wa miokoka, lakini wanatembea katika usinzi na usherati. Mungu atuhurumie kwa mambo haya. May God have mercy. In the mighty name of Jesus, the things that we see, a good interpreter will tell you these are not good signs for a nation and we need to go back to God in the mighty name of Jesus. Praise the name of the living God. This week I was in Nairobi just to consult with the elders and uh, people who are like-minded and we have organized for a week and a national day of prayer in Uhuru Park in the month of March just to go before the Lord and call upon the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the living God. In the week of, uh, in the Saturday of 21st, I know that Saturday we were supposed to be in Roiro, but we said I'm going to sacrifice that one day in Loiro meeting, and all roads will lead to Uhuru Park, in the mighty name of Jesus, uh, that we may go there and call upon the name of the Lord. And that whole week will be a week of prayer for the nation, that God will preserve this nation in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, God will preserve our nation from pestilence, Mambo kama ya nzige, mambo kama ya coronavirus, vitu kama hizo zikipata inchi hii, wapendwa, siju takuwa wapi. Confusion ambao tunaona katika siyasa na uongozi wetu. These are not good signs for us. Praise the name of the living God. When our top, top leadership is not in agreement, that's not a good sign for our nation. Jina abana ni pewe sifa. We need to tell God we desire to see divine intervention. China ikiwa na shida, wafanyi biyashara wetu wapa Kenya, wako na shida. We need to remember China and we tell God, oh, you are able to cause all things to work for good. Send revival in China. May you raise a name that acknowledge your name. And by acknowledging your name, bring healing and deliverance in the land. That they may know there is a mighty God. Beyond technology, there is a mighty God. In the name of Jesus. Na kire teknolojia haiwezi kufanya. Kire pesa haiwezi kufanya. Wewe mungu wa binguni unaweza kufanya. Na zaidi ya yote, razima kanisa rijiandai. Kwa kurudi mara ya piri kwa Yesu Kristo. Kwa sababu hata kama mungu atatue pusha na mambo mengine. Bado, dunia, the world is ripe. Huh? For the judgment of God. So we just need to tell God, the revival that God is going to release is an end time revival to prepare the church for the coming back of our Lord Jesus Christ. Na unajua kwamba baada ya kanisa kuwa raptured, diogadhabu ya mungu sasa itamuagwa in full. 
praise the name of the living God vita kila mahali dunia nzima pestilences ambazo zitamaliza watu ha? zitaanza kumwagwa katika dunia yote so hizi ni ishara ambazo Yesu alisema so kama uko hapo na unapenda maisha haya sana na dunia hii sana na uko na mipango ya kuishi miaka mia moja, ni vizuri lakini pia uishi ni kama Yesu anaweza kurudi siku ya kesho kwa sababu Yesu ako karibu kurudi na lazima kanisa lijiandae na tumwambie Bwana send us the end time revival the revival that is going to bring in a harvest in the whole world in preparation to the second coming of our Lord Jesus Christ rise up on your feet as we pray in Jesus name we give you praise our God we give you praise our God i want you to pray for a minute and tell God help me to become a good interpreter of the times of the times Jesus said because he did not know the time of your visitation. Situjiombe kama kanisa, tusiwe watu walio katika giza, tusiwe watu ambao waliofunikwa. Mwambie Bwana hata katika maisha yangu, hata katika hali zangu, I desire I'll be a good interpreter. I'll be a good interpreter. Pray, 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 pray. Pray and tell God I'll be I, I'll be a good interpreter in the mighty name of Jesus uh, of the time uh, of where I am in life of the seasons in my life. Uh, just pray to God uh, and tell God uh, help me Jesus uh, have mercy upon me in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, I surrender to you. I refuse every confusion. Uh, I refuse to follow the crowd. Uh, I refuse to follow the multitudes uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, help me Lord to be an interpreter of my own own situation in the mighty name of Jesus niweze kuelewa ni nini ninayoendelea niweze kuelewa ni nini ninayopaswa kufanya pray for your life pray for your life now everywhere 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 in the mighty name of Jesus even those who are watching pray to God that you are going to become a good interpreter that you are going to interpret what is happening in your life in the mighty name of Jesus reka baganda baboshi sisi sio wana wa giza Ivyo tutileshia na shia dumato hofanelio sisi sio wana wa giza tukutwe na mambo ya tufunike hapana sisi ni wana wa nuru na kwa sababu sisi ni wana wa nuru tutaelewa tutaona hatari ikija tutajua jinsi ambayo tunapaswa kusimama mwambie bwana oh my god nisaidie kutafsiri hali ambayo ninayopitia hali katika maisha yangu hali katika huduma hali katika taifa hali katika kizazi changu sema nakataa kupitia katika giza mimi sitaenda katika giza tangaza mimi ni mwana wa nuru mimi ni mwana wa nuru Yesu alisema sisi ni wana wa nuru sisi hatutapatwa na mambo kama wana wa giza sisi ni wana wa nuru tangaza tangaza mimi ni mwana wa nuru mambo hayata nipata tu mambo hayata nipata tu bila kuelewa shatara baganda rabina Reka baganda baboshe Reka baganda baboshe Reka baganda ribaboshe Reka baganda ribabozeria Reka baganda mwambie Bwana nisaidie kutenda mapenzi yako nisaidie kuzalisha makusudi yako mwambie Bwana sitazaa kwa uchungu ninajitoa Bwana ninajitoa kanisa la Kenya Mungu amekusudia tukazalishe revival tumwambie Bwana tutasimamia makusudi yako Ah hatutagojea uchungu hatutagojea hatutagojea uchungu hatutagojea mateso rekabaganda baboshe tumesikia ripoti nyingi za alshababu vile wanajipanga kuleta uharibifu hawa ni watu hawajali maisha ya wanadamu hii sio hali nzuri katika taifa hii sio hali nzuri katika ulimwengu mzima tuombe tuombe wapendwa tumwambie bwana tusaidie Tumwambie Bwana tusaidie. Tumwambie Bwana tusaidie. Tumwambie Bwana tuokoe. Tuokoe Bwana. Tuokoe Bwana. Kela baganda baboshe. Reka baganda baboshe. Reka baganda. Wako wapi wa mama waombore zao? Nani atakaye mwita Mungu? Jeremiah akasema, "Heli macho yangu yangekuwa kama kisima, niweze kuwalilia." Niweze kuwalilia watu wangu nani atakuwa na macho kichwa chake kiwe kisima akaweze kulilia taifa la Kenya akaweze kulilia kanisa uovu umeingia hata katika nyumba ya Bwana watu wabaya wasiojali utakatifu wameingia katika nyumba ya Bwana wananyajisi 
wanachafua my god oh nani yataridia nani yataridia nani yataridia nani yataridia kanisa kanisa risidhoofishwe there is no worship without sacrifice lazima lazima tujitoe miri yetu iwe dhabihu miri yetu iwe dhabihu miri yetu iwe dhabihu miri yetu iwe dhabihu watu wa wachari wanafanya mambo ya kukasirisha Mungu na wanakuja wanainua mikono yao wanasema wanamwabudu shaka baganda baboshe reka baganda baboshata we need the masses of god 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 sheta rabaganda reka baganda baboshe reka baganda baburia reka baganda baboshata baganda Reka baganda rima mozaya mwambie bwana tupe kuelewa mwambie bwana tupe kufahamu oh sema sisi sio wana wa giza sisi sio wana wa giza sisi tutatembea kwa kuelewa na kufahamu ni nini tunapaswa kufanya thank you lord kila baganda baboshe Reka baganda baboshe tamaganda Reka baganda baboshe Reka baganda shatara baganda hekima ya majira inashuka katika nyumba hii siku ya leo watu watajielewa watu wataelewa maisha yao watu wataelewa jinsi wanapaswa kusimama Reka baganda bila kuangalia watu wengine mimi nitajitoa bila kuangalia watu kwa sababu mimi na tafsiri maisha yangu mwenyewe na ninajua vile Mungu ameniita ninajua vile Mungu anataka nisimame nitasimama sawa sawa na mapenzi yake nitaokolewa na ba, ubaya wote na uovu wote reka baganda baboshe reka baganda baburia reka baganda baboshe reka baganda baboshe sema nakataa kuangamia kwa sababu mimi sio mwana wa giza mimi nitatembea katika nuru sitaangamia maisha yangu binafsi Usikubali kushindana na watu. Usikubali kwenda na msisimko. Mwambie Bwana nitasimama, 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 nitasimama. Shaka baganda, baburia. Rekebegenda. Wengine ni nafasi mumepatiwa. Wengine mumepatiwa nafasi. There is a window for you to redeem your life. Yesu akasema Yerusalem, heri mungejua wakati wa kutembelewa, lakini sasa mtavamiwa. Kuna mtu anapatiwa nafasi kabla wavamizi hawajakuja kabla uharibifu haujakuja Mungu amekupatia nafasi ukatubu ukamrudie ukafanye yaliyo mema ukatii mwito ukatekeleze mapenzi ya Bwana bila kuangalia watu wengine oh my god oh my god shela baganda baburia reka baganda babosh reka baganda babos reka baganda kuna watu wanajua reka baganda reka baganda ni nini wanapaswa kufanya reka baganda ziba masikio reka baganda baboshi usiulize watu watasema nini reka baganda shatara baganda litie jina la bwana nawe utaokolewa reka baganda baboshi reka baganda shatara baganda usiseme unataka kufanana kataa kufanana Simame Tusimame kila mahali Tusimame Mimi ningependa ku summarize ujumbe wangu kwa kusema neno hili moja Tutumie amani tulio nayo wakati huu kuzalisha makusudi ya Mungu katika taifa letu let us use the window of opportunity that we have of the peace that we enjoy now to push 
and bring forth the purposes of God. Yesu alisema, ni heri mngejua, ni ningewaretea amani, lakini sasa imefichwa. Wapendwa ni vizuri kutafsiri hali tuliyomo ndani yake na tujitoe kumtafuta Mungu ili tuone msaada wake nyakati zinaweza kuja ngumu ambazo hata tukisema tuombe hatutaweza kuomba kwa sababu ya ugumu utakao kuwa umetuzunguka lakini tunaweza kutumia amani tuliyonayo wakati huu tukazalisha mapenzi ya Mungu na tukaleta huruma za Mungu katika taifa letu na taifa letu likaokolewa Mungu atusaidie let us be our own interpreters watu ambao wanaangalia hali the issues of al shabab in this nation is a time bomb ambayo Mungu ameshikilia na amezidi kutulinda kama taifa. Angalia issue za kansa katika taifa hili. It is a pestilence ambayo inamaliza watu wetu. Nani atatuokoa? Daktari hawana uwezo. Ishara hizi zote if you add one plus one, zinaweza kukuambia we need divine intervention we need divine intervention na kwa hivyo wakati tunakaa kanisa kama kawaida it is business as usual let me tell you this is not the will of god and i want to commend the hundreds of people who are participating in the watchtower every day to make intercession may god bless you may god give you grace but we need more people who can even spend time in the house of God just to intercede and plead God's mercy. Let us use this window of opportunity that we have. This time when we, have, we are enjoying this peace. This time when the fullness of the oppression has not come upon us. Because if you are not a good interpreter, Yes, it is because you did not understand. You did not know how to interpret. That is why you missed your deliverance. People miss their deliverance. Kwa sababu wakati wanafaa while they read the writing on the wall, they are like Nebuchadnezzar. They are not able to interpret. There are so many writings on the wall, as I have mentioned, a few. But all of them, are telling us that we need divine intervention. This is a time we need to push hard for revival. This is a time we need to push hard of the hand of God to come and rest upon this nation. This is a time we need to groan in the presence of God and tell God, do not forsake your inheritance in the mighty name of Jesus, sir. Tusingojie kufanya hivyo wakati tunasikia kuna bomu imeripuka watu 200 wamekufa. Eh? Wakati tunasikia coronavirus imeingia Mombasa. Wakati tunasikia nzige wamefunika hata nakuru yote na kila mahali. Eh? Tusingojie wakati kama huo. Tusikojie kusikia deputy president wa Kenya ame step down na Kenya hakuna deputy president ama kitu kingine imefanyika We don't want to go beyond where we are How far can we go with these challenges that we have We can go not go far beyond where we are with these challenges We must surrender totally to God and tell God won't you have mercy upon us We see the writings on the wall we can interpret the signs that we see. And they are not good signs for us and for our nation, for our children. In the mighty name of Jesus, deliver us, O God. O God, have mercy. Have mercy, O God. Have mercy, O God. Have mercy, O God. Have mercy, O God. And in this service, I release an impartation of the burden of the Lord upon you. 
I release an impartation of the burden of the Lord. From the Holy Spirit, in the mighty name of Jesus, receive the burden to call upon the name of the Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. 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 Ondoa maoyo, ambao ni wa mawe. Pokea moyo wanyama, moyo ulio bodeka, moyo ulio vunchika. Ukaende bereza buwana, ukamuambie buwana, ni itakutafuta. Oh, Sharabinaba, Rekataya Baganda, Rekabaganda Baboshe, Nitasima Maja Nyakati Zibuana Usiponis idea, Rekabaganda Taifarangu, Rekabaganda Baboshe, Rekabaganda, Rekabaganda Baboshe, Receive the burden, Receive the burden, Receive the burden, Receive the burden. Oh my God. Oh my God. Sharabinaba. Shakabaganda Baboshi. Rekabaganda Baboshi. Rekabaganda Baboshi. Rekabaganda Ribabosaya. Shatarabaganda Ribabose. Rekabaganda Baboshi Tereberia. Rekabaganda riba boshe tereberia. Oh my God, 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 Shatarabaganda, Shatarabaganda riba boshe. Rekabaganda babo shatamaganda. Rekabaganda babo se. Receive the burden, receive the burden, receive the burden, receive the burden. Shatarabaganda, Rekabaganda. How can we continue with such a high rate of unemployment of our young people? This is a time bomb. Wakati vijana wetu wawana kazi, tutaenderea kwa muda gani. Oh my God, si mungu wa kati. Si mungu wa tusaidie kuzarisha makusudi yake. Si mungu wa tusaidie. Oh my God, Shatarabaganda. Tutangojea watu wangapi wafe na kansa. Tutangojea, tutangojea wangapi wafe. Dio tuanze kumuambia buwana. Oh, imetosha, imetosha. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. Tutangojea kaunte ngapi. Tusikie nzige wamefika pade. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. This is the time to call upon the name of the Lord. For whoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be delivered, shall be delivered, shall be delivered, shall be delivered. Tukatae kuzaa kwa uchungu. Situmuambia wakati ubu wana kuna amani. Wakati ubu wana kuna amani. Nita kutafuta. Yesu wakawambia. Kuna wakati mutazingirwa na maadui. Watoto wenu. Watakuwa na chukuriwa. Wanapigishwa kwa ukuta. Ah. Hatuwezi kugojea. Hatuwezi kugojea. Hatuwezi kupita hapa. Oh. Shela baganda. Sheka baganda baburia. Reka baganda. This is the time to see God's mercy. Shaka baganda baburia. Reka baganda. Wengine unasema huna wakati. Shida ikija utakuwa na wakati. Usingoje uwe na wakati wakati wa shida. Si ujitoe wakati wa amani. Wakati wa amani. Wakati wa amani. Oh my God, oh my King, have mercy, have mercy, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Jesus, have mercy, have mercy, have mercy, have mercy, Shilaba, Rekha Baganda Baboshi, Rekha Baganda Baboshi, Dio Hiyo Nehma Yabwana, 
kwa wale ambao Bwana amekuwa akiwaweka mzigo wasimame siku ya leo Mungu amekuja kukutembelea kwa neema yake kwa neema yake peke yako hautaweza peke yako hautaweza mara ya kwanza pokea hiyo neema Mungu anawaachilia my god dio shela baganda rika baganda baboshi rika baganda baboshi rika baganda baboshi mara ya pili pokea neema ya Mungu Shatara baganda baburia rika baganda baboshi unajua kile unapaswa kufanya mara ya tatu pokea nguvu za Bwana Bwana akuwezeshe nina kufungua nina kufungua nina kufungua shatara baganda utoe dhabihu itakayokubalika reka baganda tusifanye mambo kama kawaida huu ni wakati wa dharura huu ni wakati wa dharura my god my god the deep call it unto the deep the deep the deep the deep the deep call it unto the deep the deep oh my god nani ataingia kiridini nani ataingia kiridini bwana akuguze na nguvu zake Oh my god, sheta rabaganda. Shaka baganda. Dio. Oh my god. Usigoje hukumu ya Bwana. Geuka. Kubali maonyo ya Bwana. Kwa nini uhukumiwe? Kwa nini ungoje dhoruba? 